Zach Pakoff here, and welcome back to another lesson video. Today, I will be going over the 12-2 text. So let's jump right into the video. All right, so as I had stated before, I'm going to be going over the 12-2 text, which is the second lesson in chapter 12. And in this lesson, we will be learning about determining payroll tax withholding. Okay, so there are some key terms that I'd like to go over before we start the accounting part of this lesson. So payroll taxes are taxes based on the payroll of a business. A withholding allowance is a deduction from total earnings for each person legally supported by a taxpayer including the employee. A social security tax is a federal tax paid for old age, survivors, and disability insurance. A Medicare tax is a federal tax paid for hospital insurance. And a tax base is the maximum amount of earnings on which a tax is calculated. All right, next, we're going to be talking about an employee's withholding allowance certificate. So what we're essentially looking at here is an employee's withholding allowance certificate. And when we fill out, complete, and analyze an employee's withholding allowance certificate, there are a few steps that we follow when doing this process. First, we write the employee's name and address. Next, we write the employee's social security number. After that, we check the appropriate marital status box. Following that, we write the total number of withholding allowances claimed. And finally, the employee would sign their name and also date the form. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to be talking about in this lesson is an employee's income tax withholding table for married persons. So what we're essentially looking at here is an employee's income tax withholding table for married persons. And when we analyze an employee's income tax withholding table for married persons, there are a few steps that we follow when doing this process. First, we select the appropriate table. Next, we locate the employee's total earnings. And finally, we determine the intersection of wages and also the number of allowances column. All right, so that is the end of the 12-2 text. In the next video, I will be going over the 12-2 work together. Okay, thank you.